Well, guys, we have some big news in this video as iOS support for Stadia is on its way and we have our first reporting of it. Not just that, but a popular app for iOS has returned in Stadium, so we'll talk about that in this video. We also got some information about FIFA's release date, which some of you may not like, and then another update on Ubisoft Plus, and this may not be good news as well. Last but not least in this video, Assassin's Creed Valhalla release date times when you can expect to play the upcoming title. All that in this video make sure you hit that like button to help that algorithm find us some more stadiums and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel as i drop daily content on stadia and cloud gaming let's start though with the biggest news of the day this was first reported by gem stadia on his youtube channel his link will be down below where he did find some codes showcasing stadia working on the safari browser now i'm gonna go ahead though and do you guys one better than just a code alone i can actually tell you guys from speaking to people in the know ever since the issue with the Apple Store and not allowing cloud gaming services to be on the App Store at all. Cloud gaming services have found a loophole on how to stream their games through iOS devices. Now, the first iteration of this we already have seen with Luna launching on iOS devices, first through the Safari web browser, for an example. Obviously, you weren't going to expect everyone else not to follow suit and lag behind. I, for one, was not even close to shock to see that these codes were found, and I fully expected it, but now that it's out, you can expect to see Stadia on Safari browsers and Stadia now working through an official capacity. Now, my sources from other reaches had essentially told me that Apple themselves extended their voice on how to get streaming services to work with their devices and that the path meant going through the Safari browser. So I figured Stadia was already working on this themselves. Overall, this is awesome news. And the fact is we haven't had iOS support since Stadia has launched. So to see finally an iteration of this coming and being worked on is great and should make for those who have been frustrated with Stadia not on Apple finally have something to look forward to. Now as to when we might see this support, well this is anybody's a guess at this point, but if I had to kind of take a complete stab in the dark, I say you could see this as early as November 19th on Stadia's anniversary, but more than likely it will take a little bit more time than that. Either way, I'm very, very happy to report this news and this one is massive and one that should open up a lot more access to stadia to a lot more people here very soon so i for one will be fully covering this when it finally does launch and make our way onto stadia stay tuned for that coverage all right, let's follow up that last piece of news we just got about iOS and let you guys know about the Stadia app on the Apple Store. If you don't know what this app is about, it's a workaround to get Stadia working on your iOS device in an unofficial way. This app was made by a gentleman named Zachary Knox, where it was running for some weeks until Apple took it down. They told him he couldn't have it up because he had to remove some hooks, but the app is now back up and running. I will have links down below so you guys can play Stadia on Apple devices until we see the official rollout keep in mind there is instructions in those links in the description so you guys can go ahead and try to launch this yourself keep in mind though it's all unofficial and i don't expect a smooth ride and of course guys download this at your own risk and like i said links will be down in the description all right so we have two pieces of potentially upsetting and controversial news here this first part though might actually be a good thing for some and some not so much this is about ubisoft plus now it was recently discovered on the FAQ page and it says here that the cloud gaming beta in Ubisoft Plus will open on November 10th, 2020 and that with the beta you can play on Luna and Stadia. Now the following sentence here reads, Please note that only U.S. residents will be able to participate in this beta. Now, guys, there's a few things that I want to point out before you guys react. Now, if we go back to when this was first announced back on October 27th, it says starting on November 10th, the service will launch a multi-platform subscription model beginning with a beta on Amazon Luna and then later on Stadia. So obviously both of these contradict each other a little bit. And if I'm being honest, I'm more inclined to believe what we heard on the 27th and that it will be a later date after November 10th before it does actually arrive on Stadia. Now I feel we need more official clarification because I feel that FAQ page just happened to lump what is going on with Luna and mention Stadia and that it's a possible mix up. But if it isn't a mix up and Ubisoft Plus is 
is indeed coming to Stadia on the 10th only to US residents, then the wording here is that it's going to be a beta. So for all intents and purposes, the US could see Ubisoft Plus beta first, and then the official non-beta and actual full launch would release worldwide to other Stadia users. I am though a bit doubtful this is what is happening. Of course, I have no knowledge other than what you guys are seeing here, and I'm just guessing on my end. And this is from the official Ubisoft FAQ page, so it's possible that this is truly how it is rolling out. Either way, we are about to find out extremely soon on the 10th of November. If this is really the case, I will of course reach out myself, but I doubt I'll get a response by the 10th. So like always, I will report to you guys as soon as possible if and when something changes and when Ubisoft is going to be launching worldwide. So watch my channel and also follow me on Twitter where I do announce things before I get my videos out. Now the next piece of potentially bad news is bound to upset some folks and that is that the recent quarterly earnings report from EA reported that FIFA 21 is not coming until the new year. Now some have taken this to mean that it is a delay of the game, but it actually is not technically a delay as it's been stated all along that FIFA 21 is not coming until winter for the Stadia release. That always meant that it potentially would not come until 2021 and the earliest we could have seen FIFA 21 would have been December. So really guys, this report all just but confirmed we won't see it that month, which by the way does suck. Now obviously this is the title that many have wanted and anticipated and it's one of the questions I get the most, but I will say this on a personal level, it is disappointing to see this title have that winter release date as typically these sports games really lose their luster the further the year gets and the closer it gets to the next iteration of the title, in this case FIFA 22. Either way, I will keep you guys up to date when this finally launches as the latest that you'll see it is March and the earliest you could see it is January. Either way, stay tuned for that coverage. Alright, let's end this on a positive note as we have Assassin's Creed Valhalla start times for Stadia. We have the Americas launching at midnight at 12.01 a.m. Europe and Middle East or local time of midnight as well. Now this means whenever your midnight is, you should hopefully see the title launch. Obviously, our friends over on the other side of the world on this channel will get to experience some Valhalla before I do, but I'm excited for all of us who are looking forward to this game and fully expect that coverage here on the channel with streams and videos here soon make sure you guys are subscribed for all that coverage all right guys with that let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on stadia seeing a release on ios devices through the safari browser what are your hopes for for when this does finally launch on stadia let me know also your thoughts on the ubisoft plus news as well as fifa not coming until 2021 i read all your guys's comments even if i don't get a chance to react make sure guys as well if you can hit that like button i'd much appreciate it I'm Sunny, and like always, I'll see you guys in the cloud.